Times must be tough for Russia's equivalent of MI6. If Q fell on hard times and offered this up to Bond, then it might as well be time to kiss and make up with Jaws. This is the latest from the boffins over in Russia, the aero car. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking hairdryer meets spinning top, neither of which, let's face it, are really the cutting edge of gadgetry. But its makers insist the aero car is the ultimate machine on land, air and sea. It's being offered to Russian President Putin as perfect for spy operations as well as leisure activities. But a couple of dry runs at the launch and the team seem to be having a spot of bother. No doubt this crack squad of specialists will sort it though. Ah, Vitor the wind is too strong, he says. Extraordinary insight. That's why this guy is a pro. Third time lucky, and he's off. Floating on air with the help of the aero car's handy parachute. Back on Earth, inventor and test pilot Alexander's trying hard to disguise his relief. It's great for fishing or hunting, especially the two-seater. Its flying speed can be very slow. It can be set at 15 kilometers per hour, so it will practically stay still. That's good for hunting for wolves, for example. So there you have it. Excellent for hunting wolves and, I imagine, a gem for inner-city parking. The Guantanamo-esque orange jumpsuit is an optional extra.